What's up, guys? How are you all today? So it is, what's the time? Uh, it's about 5.30, I believe, 6 o'clock, something like that. And again, it's just been a crazy busy day. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. First of all, uh, iPhone 6. Now, a lot of the guys, Mike and uh, Marcus and a whole bunch of the other YouTubers, have had these kind of dummy models in, and we've seen what they look like. It's got the bigger screen, it seems thinner, it seems to look more like the iPad. And I just wanted to kind of give you my, my thoughts on iPhone 6. And in fact, talk to you about a couple of the issues I've got with my iPhone at the moment, which is killing me. But anyway, let's talk about iPhone 6 first of all. So, as I said, it looks like it's going to be thinner. Let's talk about that first of all. Why on earth do they have to keep making it thinner? Why can't they make it 3 millimeters thicker, or 2 even, and just have that as complete battery? And just give us some insane battery life? Because the battery on all iPhones has always been absolutely horrific. Apple are very proud of the fact that people who have iPhones use them significantly more than people who have Android phones, for example. They're always going on about these figures. So why can't they give us a battery that falls in line with these statistics that they keep throwing at us uh, in the light of Android overtaking them in the actual number of devices? It really kind of grates on me that they don't pull it out of the bag with the battery life and understand that that is almost now the main ingredient for a good phone because we've got great screens, forget all of the resolutions and whatnot, they're all amazing. Um, in a premium phone I'm talking about. Obviously the Moto E is not quite so good. Um, but yeah, all top market phones now all have great screens. They're all ridiculously fast, they all have all the Wi-Fi standards, they all have 4G, um, they all pretty much adhere to all of the most important ingredients for a good phone. The one thing that Apple significantly lag behind on is battery life. We see now the likes of the Galaxy Note 3, the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8, they've all got like 3000 milliamp hour batteries. And even if iOS 8 is better uh, optimized for battery performance, which I don't particularly think it is to be honest, then it's still shit. They really need to do something about the battery life. We want a 3000 milliamp hour battery in the iPhone 6. We want it doubled. We want it at least doubled. And I don't understand this addiction to being thin. You know, there'll always be a thinner phone that comes out immediately after. So it's not like they can hold this record for the world's thinnest phone. Um, yes, it feels nice. Yes, it fits in the pocket better. But no one notices a couple of millimeters difference. They really don't. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a joke in there somewhere. But that's what I've got to say about the battery life on the iPhone 6. Everything else, the design, all of that is all going to be great because no matter what, even if you don't like it at the moment, when you eventually see it, get it in your hands, you're going to like it. Apple very rarely get design wrong. Um, the screen, yes, we did need a bigger screen. I hope that they still continue to offer this size screen as well. If they do, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do about the resolutions and optimization and all that kind of stuff. But I think there's definitely a space for a smaller phone. 5.5 uh, inches for me is too big. Um, 5 inches, if you get the bezels absolutely tiny, is plausible. But for me, the kind of HTC One M7 4.7 inch screen was just about right. And I hope that there are maybe a few different offerings in terms of sizes. Uh, I don't see Apple aren't going to bring out, uh, make it five and a half inches. I don't think that would that would be too big. So I imagine it's going to be between 4.5 and five inches. But they may well bring out a six inch version as well. And I personally hope that they do on the basis that maybe it's going to have some big um, battery in it because it's a big phone anyway. You know, who, who knows? We'll have to uh, wait and see. iOS 8, I've got no queries, uh, quandaries or issues with iOS 8. It looks great to me. Just a kind of normal step up that you get from Apple every year. Nothing drastic, but they do add a few sort of decent features. The, the increasing integration with Mac OS 10 is significantly good news for me. I absolutely love the integration between the two. And that's really what kind of always drags me back to the iPhone as being my dedicated uh, sort of daily driver. Although I always carry around at least two or three phones anyway. Um, so yeah, iPhone 6. Very much looking forward to uh, iPhone 6, obviously. 
Now, I'm getting married on October the 4th in Mexico, and we're leaving for there on about September the 27th or something. So I hope to God that it comes out before then, because I really want to take it with me. But you guys, let me know what your thoughts are on iPhone 6. Now, I'm going to just tell you about a problem while we're talking about battery life. And I really, this, this vlog really was about battery life, I guess. Um, but it was more about my thoughts about iPhone 6. But for me, and a lot of people, like I keep saying, battery life is one of the big, most important um, ingredients towards a top flagship smartphone. But I'll tell you a problem I'm having at the moment with my iPhone, and I can't believe it hasn't happened yet, and it may well do it now, I've just said it. Uh, so if the vlog ends uh, quickly, you know that I've had a problem with my phone. I could have like 96% battery, and my phone will just turn off. And then I can't turn it back on because it said it needs to be charged. But the second you plug a charger into it, it will turn back on. And then it will last again for potentially the whole day or potentially just two minutes. And then you have to go, keep going through the same process over and over and over. And it's an absolute nightmare. I don't know if it's software or hardware or the battery's gone or whatever it may be. But it's fucked, basically. So Saturday afternoon, I've got to take it into Apple and uh, get a new one which I really can't even bother to do, set up a new phone, etc, etc. But I've got to do it because I just can't cope with this any longer. It's driving me insane. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. I will be back with you tomorrow. Please do let me know your thoughts on iPhone 6 and uh, some of the stuff that I've spoke about uh, today. And I will see you all in the next one. Pandora, peace.